Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to sit down and do, you guessed it, another Sephora haul. Sephora is actually running an event right now and I wanna tell you about that because this video is sponsored by Sephora. I'm so thankful to work with them. I love working with them because I really do shop at Sephora more than any other retailer. Now if you didn't know, Sephora is doing their Gifts for All event and this started on December 1st and ends on December 10th where you get 20% off your order and 30% percent off Sephora collection. This is for all tiers, but it is a one-time use code. So you can go and store and mention the gifts for all event, or you can use the code yay gifting online. And it is only for those that are a part of the beauty insider program. Also beauty insiders get free shipping. So that is another perk as well. So if you are not yet a beauty insider, it is completely free to sign up. I will have a link at the top of my description box. So this is for all tiers, gifts for everyone. So if you need to stock up, grab some gifts for the holidays, or just really replenish any of your favorite products, definitely take advantage of this event. It does end on December 10th, so you only have a little while to get your orders in. So I will have all the information, codes, and details down below in my description box. I'm also going to link everything that I hauled today because of course you can get everything from Sephora. So all that information will be down below in the description box, but let's go ahead and get into what I picked up during this event. Let's start out with a hair product because I did only pick up one during this haul. I did get one of these during the Sephora savings event, but I've been going through it and I realized that I needed another backup. So I got another of the Way Detox Shampoo. This is just such a good shampoo that lathers, really gets all the grit out of your hair, all the hairspray, the creams, the oils. If you know, you know, when I slick my hair back, it is truly mounds of product that are in my my scalp and I need to really scrub to get it out. I just lather this really heavily on my scalp and really, really get in there. Sometimes I use a scalp scrubber. I only use this about once a week. So it's something that I tend to reach for after I've loaded my hair with dry shampoo for probably too many days. So this is probably my favorite detox shampoo overall. So I just thought to myself, you know what? You're already going through the bottle that you got recently. I needed another backup and it's just a staple product for me. Moving on to body products, I did pick up one product that I kept seeing everybody rave about, so I finally got sucked in. Now I've tried the original Fenty Skin Body Butter, body butter, <laughs> but this is the Butter Drop Shimmering Whipped Oil Body Cream, and this is in the holiday scent. I cannot tell you how good this smells. This is a Cinnabon in a body cream. It has that shimmering effect, but it's very, very subtle. But this formula is very lightweight. It has a little bit of that oil feel because it does have that oil infused. So it gives you a lot of hydration but it's very thin, so it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, it's not sticky, but the scent on this is to die for. Truly, I get the hype. It's not one of those like artificial scents that almost, I don't know, leans like plastic. They did this scent right. Wow, I am so happy that I got this because it just smells absolutely incredible and I already know that I love this formula. So if you are a body butter type of person, this scent is absolutely divine. It's perfect for this time of year as well. I'd like to see her come out with more scents depending on the season and I think maybe she will after seeing how successful this has been because I swear I've seen everybody raving about this scent in particular and now I get the hype. Okay, so let's switch gears and talk about a couple of the products that I'm actually wearing today. It was my first time trying them, so I just kind of applied them very lightly, trying to get my feel for them, and then I will give you guys my thoughts in a later video. But I did pick up this Sephora Collection Soft Matte and Easy Liquid Lipstick. So I got the shade 01, and this is supposed to be one of those really soft matte formulas that I tend to go for. I do prefer a soft 
soft matte rather than a dry down. So I was kind of expecting a moussey texture, but this is actually quite liquidy. I will say that the shades seem to run a little bit deeper overall, so more of like fall or kind of like those terracotta nude shades, but the texture is definitely thinner than I thought, which is not a bad thing at all. It's a nice pigment. It almost gives me like a soft matte slash stain sort of vibe. So I just layered it on my lips and I don't feel that it has a stick to it, which I really enjoy. And if you do like these mid-tone browns and warm terracottas, I think that you would be able to find a shade because they had a lot in that kind of color realm. So I have to keep testing this out, but I've been wearing this now for, I don't know, like 40 minutes, and I'm not noticing any wear or any, you know, line on the inside of my lips yet. So I will keep testing this out and keep you guys updated. Another new product that I have been seeing people really rave about, it's sort of like a dark horse from a luxury brand. I just kept seeing people talk about how beautiful and effortless these eyeshadows were from YSL. So this is the Couture Mini Clutch eyeshadow palette from YSL. I have to say the packaging is a 10 out of 10. It really does have like that mini handbag feel. So I really think that if you're a packaging fanatic and you like luxury products, this packaging is really good. And inside you have four eyeshadows. So I got this color because the other ones were sold out in my store. I really wanted to get some more of the warm neutral bronze eyeshadow color they also had one that I think was more cool toned, but again, they were sold out. So because of that, I did end up going for this purple mauve tone. This is in the color 400. So you do get a matte shade, and then you get sort of a satin shade, which is probably my favorite. It's just an absolutely gorgeous color. And then you get these two kind of like toppers. They are not gonna give you that intense, heavy metallic look that I feel like we're accustomed to. These two are definitely more of a very soft, almost like glimmer on the eye. I do feel like they would really pop more if you did use like a glitter glue or something like that. But again, I just played around today. I wanna try this shade as a smoky wing. I don't know if it would be deep enough, but I really am interested to play around with this formula. I do have to say that my eye look took literally like two minutes. It was probably one of the easiest eye looks I've ever done. So I feel like if you're somebody that likes that clean girl aesthetic, you like more natural, soft, shimmery, romantic looks, I think this would be a formula that you would enjoy. And I think the packaging is absolutely stunning. It was truly super easy to use. So I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't wait to get the color scheme that I think I would use more, but I'll play around with this. And then if I fall in love with it, I'll probably Probably end up getting the color that I really want when it comes back in stock. Another product I tried today for the first time is just a new color of a blush formula that I'm really enjoying. So this is from Makeup Forever. These are the Artist Blushes and I picked up the shade Daring Candy. It's a very, very intense, rich, hot pink. It's not like those baby pinks. This is truly hot, like almost leaning magenta hot pink. So this one is a little intense. You do have to be careful. This I would use next time with a fluffier brush because I do feel like I got a little heavy handed and I felt like I couldn't diffuse it after it had already been applied. So definitely use a bigger brush for this shade in particular, but I do love this formula. I tried the peach shade and I think like a rosy shade in one of my previous videos and I fell in love. It's one of those that I wish the packaging was a little bit more fancy, but overall the formula is really, really pretty. And I do believe that they have some of these in shimmer formulas if you do like that. But so far I believe I've only tried the matte colors and I've really liked every shade that I've tried. And while we're on the topic of blush, I caved, you guys. I really wasn't planning to, but I did cave and get, I think this is my fifth 
is this my fifth Givenchy blush? It may be my fifth. It's either my fifth or my fourth. You know, it's bad when you can't keep track. I raved about these in my Sephora recommendations videos. I've raved about them a million times. So I ended up getting the shade number two, which is Tafetas, Tafetas Rose. So this is supposed to be a warm pink, whereas the shade number one that I originally got is like that baby doll, super cool tone. So if you've not seen these from Givenchy. These are a loose powder blush. Now loose powder blushes are not like my top pick, but there is something about this formula and the colors that I just keep going back because it is so stunning. So you have four different colors in the actual component. I just kind of put it on the back of my hand and then I'm going to blend this in. Now these swatch honestly horribly. You can't look at a swatch of these and make a decision in terms of how they're going to look on the skin, but these have such a gorgeous glow. They really have that almost like the Dior backstage blushes where they give you that beautiful like neon lit from within glow. Very buildable. That's another thing I've noticed is not so buildable that you're getting no pigment, but not over the top where you have to be careful. You can just kind of build this up and get this absolutely stunning lit from within glow. So I cannot recommend this enough. I think I'm literally going to cut myself off unless they come out with more shades. I think I'm saying it now publicly, no more Givenchy loose blushes for Babs because I've gotten out of hand, but it's an addiction. I just honestly can't help it. They are so beautiful on the skin. I highly recommend them. Moving on to fragrances, I did pick up two travel sizes to try out. So the first is the Ellis Brooklyn Apple, I couldn't say that, Ellis Brooklyn Apple Love. This is up there with Sunfruit from Ellis Brooklyn. I haven't really fallen in love with any of their fragrances other than Sunfruit. This, it's giving it a run for its money, although this is a completely different scent. But this is like a sophisticated apple. It's apple, but it's juicy, it's sweet, but it also has this bubbliness to it that gives it a little bit of sophistication. I feel like this is perfect for holiday parties. This reminds me of, I don't know, like a New Year's Eve party or something like that because it has this like juicy, bubbly, almost like apple champagne sweetness. I don't know how else to describe it. I love this. Like it was an immediate love. So if you like scents like I do, but you want something a little different for the holiday time, that's not your standard like vanilla gourmand, I think you would really enjoy this one. And along with the Ellis Brooklyn, I did pick up the new Kaoli Eden Sparkly Lychee. Sparkly? <laughs> Sparkling Lychee. This was one of the first Kaoli fragrances that really seemed sweet overall. I know that Kaoli does a lot of more like intense, mature, oud type fragrances, which I just personally do not enjoy. So when I saw this one with the notes, I was like, I think I'm going to like this. This is Sickling Sweet. Sickling? Sickly. <laughs> I cannot speak today. Sickly sweet, not in a bad way because I love sweet fragrances, but it is almost like sugary, candy, juicy, sweet. Very, very fruity, maybe a little citrus in there. I'm not getting much floral, which I'm actually happy about because floral to me is like headache inducing. I feel like this would be a good mixer with some of your maybe like base musk or vanilla type scents, but it is sugary, syrupy, fruity, sweet. I don't know if a lot of people are going to think that maybe it's just kind of like the typical, you know, Bath and Body Works type of scents. So while I really like it, I'd say you definitely have to love extremely sweet fragrances to like this one. Okay, so finishing off with the last product I got in this haul, I did get this via the recommendation of Cheryl. We like to call her Cheryl. Cheryl was raving about this and I was like, I'm sorry, what? She kept talking about it 
and I'm like, okay, I need to add that to cart. So this is a set from Nude Sticks. It is the Nude Sticks Lip Butter Trio. So three full size, and I believe you get like a pink, you get a shimmery sort of nude, and then you get a berry. So she said these are super, super shiny. So I wanna try one of them on. This is what the packaging looks like. I know she said that they were incredibly high shine, but they actually had pigment and my ears perked up because I love when lip products actually have pigment. I think these are also supposed to be like plumping. Hold on, let me apply. So the texture of these, it feels pretty nice. It's not overly thick. I had read a couple reviews, people were saying it was sticky. I don't feel stickiness at all. I feel like there's a little bit of a minty is it a minty scent, but it's very, very mild, and I'm feeling a very, very mild tingle, which I actually like. It's almost like a Patrick Ta sort of tingle, not cinnamon, but mint. It feels like I put a piece of gum in my mouth or I just brushed my teeth. I feel like that's really refreshing. It actually feels nice. The next shade is the Dolce Nude. This one is supposed to be that shimmering nude shade. These actually do have quite a bit of pigment. Of course, I'm sure they sheer out, but they feel really nice. Like as I'm talking, it literally feels like I just popped a mint in. And then the last shade is Sugar Plum. I would say Sugar Plum, I probably will not reach for much. So I may gift this, but I would definitely go for the other two. And I'm unsure, like, is this a new product? from nude sticks because I don't believe I've ever even seen this overall I'm happy that I picked these up I'm excited to try them more I feel refreshed I think they're beautiful so I'm gonna have to kind of look into that more and see if they have more shades all right guys so that is everything that I personally picked up during the Sephora gifts for all event again this does end on December 10th so you definitely want to get on it if you do want to take advantage of this I will have a link at the top of my description box to sign up so that you can shop this event of course I will link everything else that I showed today down below in my description box but let me know what you picked up or what you plan to pick up during this event I always love hearing what you guys are loving or not loving and let me know if you tried any of these products i would love to hear your feedback as always thank you guys again so much for watching i'll see you in the next video